before we try doing question number one, we're going to highlight some stuff from your workbook. So I want you to go to 28106, okay? And we're going to highlight some keywords. You will be highlighting continuous duty service. Means if the motor is continuous, what percentage do I multiply it with? 125% highlight that. For a non-continuous duty motor, what do I multiply it with? I go to table 27 to find the derating factor and multiply my FLA with the numbers on table 27. Okay? What is a continuous duty? Any motor that's turned on for more than 50% of the time. A non-continuous duty would be a motor that turns on and off, on and off on recurrent basis. So, let's, uh, even I'm going to ask you to help me here with the first one. First question, what is the HP rating given? Five. Five HP and first of all, please tell me what section are we on? 28, question one. Section 28, question one. What page number on your binder? individually by their 
uh, factors on table 27, and then in the end add them. That's all. Okay. In a continuous motor, you pick your highest FL and get that multiplied by 125 and add the rest. Say that again? I couldn't, I got lost with the answer. You got the answer, but did you know how? Like yes, exactly, I, I know. You, did, you did it my way as well? I did it the. You just went to table 27, right? Yeah. These numbers, yeah, same thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So perfect. Let's go to question number four, guys. Section 28, question one, question two, question three, done. Let's go to question number four. Okay. Three has fuse size. Fuse size and breaker and oh, hold on to that, guys, because I have not taught you. So we're gonna hold on to that. We'll come back to this three. So for now, you can leave a little bit of information or page underneath. Okay. So let's go to next one, which is question number four. Farid, you're gonna help me with the with this one, dear. No. No idea? That's why you and I are going to do it together. Okay? Go to uh, question number four. Give me the two HPs given. I'm going to draw the table. First one is five. What's power? First one is five. And the second one? one How many? 1.5. How many of them? Four. Do you see their quantity four? Or did you miss that? Okay, guys here, if you go back to your binder, do you see bracket one, five HP, bracket four, one and a half HP in the question? Put it on question number four. Do you see quantity one, five HP, quantity four, one and a half HP? Yeah. That one, bracket four means quantity four, means four motors. Okay, so in the exam, don't miss this, guys. Okay, so one and a half HP four times means there are four of them. We are going to find their FLS. Buddy, you're going to go with me to table 44. Okay, what's the FLA for five HP? Did you get it? 7.6. 7.6. And for one and a half HP? One. One and a half HP is one amp? 2.6 amps. 2.6 amps. Okay. Now here, what you're going to do, the life is simple. For non-continuous, sorry, for continuous motors, the rule says pick your highest FLA, multiply that by 125% and add the rest. The rest is what? 2.6, four times. That's what the rule is about. Okay? So, for if you're going to multiply 7.6 with 1.25. 9.5. And then add 2.6, four times with it. What is 2.6 times four? That's what we just followed. 
So if I was given 10 orders, that is was 10 amp, 20 amp, 30 amp, all the way to 100 amp, I will just choose 100 amp times 1.25 plus the rest. Okay? If they're all non-continuous, how do you do it? You just go to table 27 and multiply individually with their individual numbers and in the end, add them. If I had 5 continuous and 10 non-continuous, how would I do it that way? I will just solve them separate and in the end, whatever I got, I'll add them. Consider them as two questions. Like question number one, where they're all continuous. Question number two, when they're all non-continuous. Let's say first answer is 20 amps, second answer is 60. The total capacity of the feeder will become 80. You just deal with them separately. Does it make sense? Yeah? Could we go forward? So I'm going to put that back on the screen. I know some of you were copying this down. Before I teach you how to do calculation for a break or a fuse, I know I haven't given you guys a break. So um, if you are done with question four, feel free to take a 10 minute break. Come back by, it's 10 to 20, come back by 10.30.